Welcome to EZLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic sulfur and its compounds. So in the previous lesson we discussed on preparation of hydrogen sulfide gas. So today we are going to be looking at some of the chemical properties of hydrogen sulfide. So one of the chemical properties is combustion. So hydrogen sulfide usually burns in a blue flame. Uh, this is in the case where it is in a limited supply of air and then it forms yellow deposits of sulfur and steam. So you can see the hydrogen uh, part of the hydrogen sulfide reacts with oxygen to form water and then the sulfur part of uh, hydrogen sulfide reacts with oxygen to form sulfur for oxide. And in excess supply of air, the stands with a blue flame forming sulfur oxide and steam. So this is what we have for the excess. The first equation is for excess. And then the second equation is for the limited, where the sulfur is deposited, the yellow deposits of sulfur in limited supply. But in excess air, sulfur completely burns in oxygen to form sulfur oxide. And then in and in in plant full of air that is sulfur burns completely to form sulfur oxide, but in limited amount of air, it's also it only forms uh, sulfur solid. So be able to see the difference in the two equations. This is for excess. This is for limited. And then it also acts as a reducing agent. Another property we noticed with sulfur oxide. So it supplies electrons which are accepted by oxidizing agents and forms sulfur in return. So hydrogen sulfide dissociates to form two hydrogen ions and sulfide ions. And then the sulfide ions lose two electrons to form sulfur solid. These two electrons are the ones that are supplied to the oxidizing agent. So hydrogen sulfide when it reacts with oxidizing agent will always form sulfur or there is a deposit of sulfur that will be so she seen and also water is formed. So for example, if it reacts with acidified dichromate 6 solution, which is usually uh, orange in color. So the orange color is going to turn to, gr to green because hydrogen sulfide oxidizes it, it, it is oxidized to yellow sulfur. So that is the equation. You see uh, potassium dichromate 6 is reduced. There's a Lagos reduction to form chromium 3 ions. And then hydrogen sulfur, sulfur is oxidized to sulfur. It's a Lagos oxidation. So we said that when a certain substance undergoes reduction, it is opposite. Like potassium dichromate 6 and a ghost reduction so this is going to be the oxidizing agent as we know it is an oxidizing agent in real sense and then hydrogen sulfide in this case would be the reducing agent just like we, we introduced so it also um, reduces um, potassium permanganate 7 which is purple in color so it turns to a colorless solution so the manganate 7 ions are reduced to manganate 2 ions and then hydrogen sulfide is oxidized to sulfur which is deposited as a yellow solid. So once again the manganate 7 ions are reduced to the manganate 2 ions so this is the oxidizing agent and then hydrogen sulfide uh, is oxidized to sulfur so it undergoes oxidation so this is the reducing agent. And you can see these are just similar properties with what we discussed with sulfur four oxide. Also, it acts as a reducing agent with iron three chloride ions. So it converts the iron three chloride, the iron three ions to iron two ions, and itself is oxidized to sulfur. So you can see the iron three ions are undergoing reduction, so they are the oxidizing agent in this case. And then the sulfide ions are losing electrons and are going oxidation, so they are the reducing agent in this case. This is still similar to the reaction of sulfur four oxide with, with iron three chloride ions. So since the solution was brown in color, the iron three chloride, it turns to green because it changes from iron three ions to iron two ions. And then it also reacts with nitric acid, similar like we said with sulfur four oxide as well. So when it reacts with uh, nitric acid, it oxidizes um, 
it reduces nitric acid to nitrogen dioxide and itself is oxidized to the sulfur. So you see some sulfur deposits or yellow deposits, but also you're also going to see a brown gas given off. So you can see the nitrate ions are reduced to nitrogen for nitrogen for oxide which is brown so this is the oxidizing agent and then hydrogen sulfur the sulfur ions loses electrons to form sulfur so it undergoes oxidation this is the reducing agent so the most important thing when you see such a question is to be able to identify the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent An evolution of a brown gas and a deposit of a yellow solid is given off so if you were told to identify um the observations that would be seen uh, in this reaction so you see the brown gas and also the yellow sulfur the solution also contains a uh, sulfuric acid produced by the reaction so further like if you look further into the reaction the nitric acid also reacts with hydrogen sulfide so the sulfur that is formed reacts more with the nitric acid and the water to form uh, sulfuric acid and nitrogen for oxide and water uh, so another reaction is a reaction of hydrogen sulfide with um, air so the gas is dissolved in water in a beaker and exposed to air. And then after a few, a few days, a white disposal is formed. So hydrogen sulfide reacts with oxygen to form water and sulfur is deposited. And when it reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid, uh, this formation of still sulfur and water. We talked about this um, sometime back when you were discussing uh, reactions of sulfuric acid so i hope you can be able to notice that it's similar to that reaction that we discussed it also reacts with halogens so for example bromine water and you know bromine water is red brown so the red brown bromine water is reduced to form colorless hydrogen bromide acid and yellow deposits of sulfur so the bromine uh, solution turns to a colorless solution because of the formation of hydrogen bromide you can see there is interchange of anions so still in this case the bromine is the oxidizing agent and the hydrogen sulfide is a reducing agent you can see how these reactions are more or less the same with the ones for sulfur oxide. it also reacts with hydrogen peroxide where it also uh, reduces hydrogen peroxide to water and then itself is oxidized to form sulfur so you can see the hydrogen peroxide in this case is the oxidizing agent and the hydrogen sulfide is the reducing agent note how the reactions are occurring in all this reaction hydrogen sulfide is the reducing agent similar to sulfur peroxide So when we are preparing a uh, metal sulfide, usually react hydrogen sulfide with metal ions in solution, and then they form precipitates, and most of them are usually black in color. So for example, if you bubble hydrogen sulfide in solution containing lead ions, copper ions, iron ions, so you notice that there is going to be an interchange of ions. So lead is going to react with nitric acid, uh, lead nitrous is going to react with hydrogen sulfide to form lead sulfide, and in turn, we form nitric acid. There is an interchange of ions that is occurring. So that helps you to remember and to see how the equation is forming well so that you do not get confused. If you were to look at the ionically, what is happening, it's the lead ions reacting with the sulfide ions to form ion, uh, lead, ion, lead sulfide. Same case with copper ions. So the copper ions react with the hydrogen sulfide ion, uh, hydrogen sulfide to, to form copper sulfide and sulfuric acid. Still, you can see the interchange of the cations. The copper ions react with the sulfide ions to form copper sulfide then the sulfate ions react with hydrogen to form sulfuric acid similarly with ion 2 sulfate which is filled green react with hydrogen sulfide to form hydrogen ion sulfide and sulfuric acid which is black and once again zinc nitrate reacts with hydrogen sulfide 
to form zinc sulfide and nitric acid. As you can see, the zinc ions react to the sulfide ions to form zinc sulfide. So let's do this one question and we close the session. So when hydrogen sulfide gas was bubbled into an aqueous solution of iron 3 chloride, a yellow solid precipitate was deposited. So we are reacting hydrogen sulfide in iron 3 chloride. So the first question is set another observation that would be made. So we are starting with iron 3 chloride, which is brown. So the brown iron 3 chloride will, three, will turn to green. So this is another observation we are going to see. So this is the rea reaction of hydrogen sulfide with iron 3 uh, chloride. So hydrogen sulfide in this case acts as a reducing agent. The iron 3 chloride acts as an oxidizing agent. We discussed this before. So if you were to write the equation, it will be iron 3 chloride plus hydrogen sulfide to form iron 2 chloride plus hydrochloric acid plus sulfur deposits. So let's ensure that everything is balanced. So, mm -hmm. uh, so we are going to put a two here. So we have two, uh, four chloride, chlorides and we put a two here. Mm, six, so we need to put a two here that balances the equation. So that brings us to the end of the reactions of hydrogen sulfide. So, in the next lesson, we are going to be doing tests for sulfates and sulfides. So, this is important because it uh, forms the qualitative analysis part of paper three. So, see you in the next lesson.